Hi, my name is Amanda Jones, and I'm the author of That Librarian, The Fight Against Book Banning in America. I am a small town librarian, school librarian in Louisiana, and I have been the target of extremists for a little over two and a half years now. Um, I, I wrote my book about my experience. Um, in July of 2022, I went to a public library board of control meeting and spoke out against censorship. And since that moment, I have been um, targeted and harassed in my own community and by people outside of my community. So I was very fortunate to have been offered um, to write a book about it. And so my book, That Librarian, is titled that because that's what they call me, That Librarian. <laughs> um, but it's it's not just a book about book banning. It's a book about a lot of different things. Um, I start. I do start off with the very first death threat. That's how the book opens, right off the bat, so that people can get an idea of what um, some of the, the horrible messages that I've been getting. Um, it, the first few chapters and onto the end uh, talks about a court case that I am still in, still in. Um, so I talk about what it's like to, uh, you know, have a court case. Um, but it's really a love letter to libraries and librarians and all sorts of things. I, you know, I wrote this book to have um, because librarians know how libraries work. But with, you know, book banning in the forefront of the news lately, a lot of people don't understand about libraries. And so I tried to give a little bit about collection development and challenge policies and some of the policies we have. Um, I also talk about censorship attempts not just in my community but across louisiana and across the united states unfortunately my story is not unique um, this is happening the targeting and harassment of librarians is happening in all 50 states um, all across the united states so i write about that i talk about several different people that it's happening to um, I, I write a lot about growing up as a reader and what it's like to grow up in a small town. I was raised Southern Baptist and Republican. Um, I was raised to be a reader. We took weekly trips to the library and I talk about that. I talk about several of my favorite authors, including Judy Bloom. Um, I have a chapter called WWJD, What Would Judy Do? Um, I also have another chapter that is an ode to um, our former first lady, Michelle Obama and Judy Bloom called, Are You There, Michelle? It's Me, Amanda. Um, I, I talk a lot about um, the struggles, what it's like to be the target of harassment. I talk about the books and why books are important and how books can save lives. I talk about what it's like to be an educator. And, uh, you know, when you're an educator, especially one um, that is targeted and harassed, you really want to set a good example for kids. And so um, my chapter, Are You There, Michelle? It's Me, Amanda, is my ode to Judy Bloom and Michelle Obama. But it, it talks about um, Michelle Obama's quote, when they go low, you go high, and how hard it is in this day and age with this hateful rhetoric that is being pushed all over social media. Uh, when you become the target of that hate, how, how, hard, how hard it is on you. I talk about, you know, medical issues that I had um, and, and I'm still having, actually, um, the the book was a labor of love. I'm I'm a reader, not a writer, and so it's. Uh, I told uh, a friend of mine who's an attorney. I said, I you know, it's not winning a Pulitzer, <laughs> um, but I wrote it from the heart. And she said, Well, it's it'll win the Pulitzer of the heart. <laughs> um, but I I I write like the way I talk, and it's just kind of it's it's like a diary entry of like my life. Um, I've made some very big changes in my life over the past five, six, seven years as a librarian, um, I started listening more, listening more and talking less and learning from people that are different from me, um, people that are not white, straight, cisgender. Um, I, I started listening and learning and um, it really affected the way I feel about the need for diverse literature and the need to make sure that all of my students are represented and my and their families are represented in my school library and to make sure that um, I continue fighting for what's right in our public library. 
as the book goes on, um, I talk about uh, building coalitions and things. I am the um, director of the Livingston Parish Library Alliance, which is a library alliance of citizens dedicated to fighting for what's right and saving our libraries because there is a target um, on our public library and libraries all across the United States. So we're looking at not just book censorship, but defunding the libraries, shutting them down, things like that. And so as the book progresses, I talk about that. I talk about um, being a founding member of Louisiana Citizens Against Censorship and fighting statewide and nationally. Um, I try to end on a positive note because not everything has been negative over the past few years. Um, I like to say that I've had my, my It's a Wonderful Life moment uh, in my life right now. I've had a lot of former students reach out to me. Um, I've had a lot of strangers reach out to me with very kind words and things. Um, but I end the book talking about something that I used to say to a student, which was, don't let anybody dull your sparkle. And so I'm trying not to let anybody dull my sparkle as I continue this work to protect the books and the people that they represent and libraries. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I hope this book has wide appeal to everyone who is a reader and loves libraries. Um, and I and I'll end it with saying that I I dedicated this book to my parents and my family and Judy Bloom and Michelle Obama, but I also dedicated it to the librarians. Um, and so it says to the librarians Invictus. Um, we are in a very dark time, it seems, right now in the United States with book banning and attacks on libraries, but I do have hope that things will get better. <laughs>